Question 1. What is the significance of the Charter of the Forest issued in 1217? A. It established the principle of common land for grazing. B. It declared independence from French law. C. It reduced the area of the royal forest. D. It complemented the Magna Carta by reasserting rights to the forest for free men. Answer. D. It complemented the Magna Carta by reasserting rights to the forest for free men. The Charter of the Forest is significant for complementing the Magna Carta, reasserting rights to the forest for free men, and reducing the extent of the royal forest. Question 2. Name the battle where Robert the Bruce defeated the English forces in 1314. A. The Battle of Bannockburn. B. The Battle of Stirling Bridge. C. The Battle of Falkirk. D. The Battle of Culloden. Answer. A. The Battle of Bannockburn. Robert the Bruce defeated the English forces at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314, a pivotal moment in Scottish history towards independence. Question 3. Which document, signed in 1689, played a pivotal role in shaping the constitutional monarchy in Britain? A. The Magna Carta. B. The Bill of Rights. C. The Act of Settlement. D. The Charter of Liberties. Answer. B. The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, signed in 1689, played a pivotal role in shaping the constitutional monarchy in Britain by outlining specific constitutional and civil rights. Question 4. Detail the contributions of the toll puddle martyrs to the British labour rights. A. They led the first strike in British history. B. They formed the first trade union. C. They advocated for the eight-hour workday. D. They were early trade unionists who protested against wage reductions. Answer. D. They were early trade unionists who protested against wage reductions. The Toll Puddle Martyrs' contribution to British labour rights includes their significant role as early trade unionists who were prosecuted for forming a trade union to protest against wage reductions. Question 5. What was the main outcome of the Reform Act of 1832? A. It abolished slavery throughout the British Empire. B. It extended the right to vote to more men in Britain. C. It granted independence to American colonies. D. It established the National Health Service. Answer. B. It extended the right to the vote to more men in Britain. The main outcome of the Reform Act of 1832 was the extension of the right to vote to more men, marking a significant step towards democratization in Britain. Question 6. Who was the Prime Minister when the Great Reform Act was passed, and what was its significance? A. William Pitt the Younger. It ended the slave trade. B. Earl Grey. It reformed the British electoral system. C. Winston Churchill. It contributed to the defeat of Nazi Germany. D. Margaret Thatcher. It introduced market liberalisation.
Answer. B. Earl Grey, it reformed the British electoral system. Earl Grey was the Prime Minister when the Great Reform Act was passed, significant for reforming the British electoral system and extending the vote to more men. Question 7. In what year did women in the UK gain the right to divorce their husbands? A. 1857 B. 1923 C. 1969 D. 1975Answer. A. 1857. Women in the UK gained the right to divorce their husbands starting in 1857 with the enactment of the Matrimonial Causes Act. Question 8. What role did Britain play in the formation of the United Nations? A. It was the primary financial contributor. B. It hosted the first meeting. C. It was one of the original founding members D. It provided the first Secretary-General. Answer. C. It was one of the original founding members. Britain played a significant role in the formation of the United Nations as one of the original founding members, instrumental in drafting the UN Charter, Question 9. Name the treaty that ended the First World War and its impact on Britain. A. The Treaty of Paris. B. The Treaty of Versailles. C. The Treaty of Westminster. D. The Treaty of London. Answer. B. The Treaty of Versailles. The Treaty of Versailles ended the First World War and had a significant impact on Britain, including territorial gains and reparations, but also contributing to the conditions leading to World War II. Question 10. What was Operation Sea Lion during World War II? A. The code name for the D Day landings. B. The German plan to invade Britain. C. The British operation to evacuate soldiers from Dunkirk. D. The Allied operation to liberate North Africa. Answer. B. The German plan to invade Britain. Operation Sea Lion was the code name for Nazi Germany's plan to invade and occupy the United Kingdom during World War II. Question 11. Detail the Suez Crisis of 1956 and its impact on British foreign policy. A. It confirmed Britain's dominance over the Suez Canal. B. It led to a temporary halt in oil supplies to Europe. C. It marked the end of British influence in the Middle East. D. It strengthened Anglo-American relations. Answer. C. It marked the end of British influence in the Middle East. The Suez Crisis of 1956 is significant for marking the end of British dominance in the Middle East and illustrating the limits of British power post-World War II, leading to a revaluation of foreign policy. Question 12. What led to the decolonization movement after World War II in Britain? A. Economic pressures and nationalist movements in the colonies. B. The loss of the American colonies. C. The establishment of the United Nations. D. The intervention of the Soviet Union. A. 
Answer. A. Economic pressures and nationalist movements in the colonies. The decolonization movement after World War II in Britain was primarily driven by economic pressures at home and growing nationalist movements within the colonies. Question 13. Who was the first woman to sit in the British Parliament and in what year? A. Margaret Thatcher, 1979. B. Nancy Astor, 1919. C. Constance Markiewicz, 1918. D. Theresa May, 1997. Answer. B. Nancy Astor, 1919. Nancy Astor became the first woman to sit in the British Parliament in 1919, following her election as a Member of Parliament. Question 14. Name the scientist who split the atom and their nationality. A. Marie Curie Polish. B. Albert Einstein German. C. Ernest Rutherford, New Zealander. D. Niels Bohr Danish. Answer. C. Ernest Rutherford, New Zealander. Ernest Rutherford, a New Zealander, is credited with splitting the atom, a foundational experiment in the field of nuclear physics. Question 15. What was the purpose of the Commonwealth Immigrants Act 1962? A. To encourage immigration from the Commonwealth countries. B. To restrict immigration from the Commonwealth countries. C. To provide financial aid to Commonwealth immigrants. D. To establish the Commonwealth of Nations. Answer. B. To restrict immigration from the Commonwealth countries. The Commonwealth Immigrants Act, 1962, was enacted to restrict immigration to the UK from Commonwealth countries, marking a significant shift in British immigration policy. Question 16. When did the UK first introduce decimal currency, and what was the system before? A. 1971 pounds, shillings and pence. B. 1960 pounds and pence only. C. 1980 the euro. D. 1955. Guineas and pounds. Answer. A. 1971. Pounds, shillings and pence. The UK introduced decimal currency in 1971 transitioning from the traditional system of pounds, shillings and pence. Question 17. Detail the contributions of Alan Turing during World War II. A. He led the British Expeditionary Force. B. He developed radar technology. C. He deciphered the Enigma Code. D. He was a key figure in the Dunkirk evacuation. Answer. C. He deciphered the Enigma Code. Alan Turing's most notable contribution during World War II was his work in deciphering the Enigma Code, which was crucial to the Allied war effort. Question 18. What year did the UK join the European Economic Community? And what was the referendum result for leaving the EU in 2016? A. Joined in 1973 voted to leave with 52% in favour. B. Joined in 1967, voted to leave with 48% in favour. C. Joined in 1981, voted to leave with 55% in favour. 
D, joined in 1955, voted to leave with 50% in favour. Answer A. Joined in 1973, voted to leave with 52% in favour. The UK joined the European Economic Community in 1973, and in the 2016 referendum, 52% of voters chose to leave the European Union. Question 19. What legal act abolished the death penalty in Britain, and in what year? A. The murder. Abolition of Death Penalty, Act 1965 B. The Criminal Justice Act 2003 C. The Homicide Act 1957 D. The Capital Punishment Amendment Act 1868 Answer. A. The Murder, Abolition of Death Penalty, Act 1965. The Murder, Abolition of Death Penalty, Act of 1965 abolished the death penalty for murder in Britain, marking a significant change in British law and criminal justice. Question 20. Who were the Picts and what region of the UK did they inhabit? A. A Celtic tribe living in what is now Wales. B. Norse settlers in the Orkney and Shetland Islands. C. Ancient inhabitants of Scotland, north of the Forth and Clyde. D. Early settlers of Ireland before the Celtic migration. Answer. C. Ancient inhabitants of Scotland, north of the Forth and Clyde, the Picts were a group of ancient peoples who lived in what is now Scotland, north of the Forth and Clyde estuaries. They played a significant role in the early medieval history of Scotland. Question 21. Name the king responsible for the establishment of the Church of England. A. King Henry V. B. King Henry VIII. C. King Edward the Sixth, D. King James the First. Answer B. King Henry the Eighth. King Henry the Eighth was responsible for the establishment of the Church of England in the sixteenth century breaking away from the Catholic Church. Question 22. When was the Battle of Aging Court, and why is it historically significant? A. 1066. It marked the Norman conquest of England. B. 1215. It was pivotal in the signing of the Magna Carta. C. 1415. It was a major victory for England during the Hundred Years' War. D. 1645. It was a decisive battle in the English Civil War. Answer. C. 1415. It was a major victory for England during the Hundred Years' War. The Battle of Agincourt in 1415 is historically significant for being a major English victory against a numerically superior French army. Question 23. Detail the historical importance of the Magna Carta for the British legal system. A. It established the British Parliament. B. It was the first document to challenge the authority of the king, laying the foundation for modern democracy. C. It abolished the feudal system in England. D. It introduced the concept of jury trials.
Answer. B. It was the first document to challenge the authority of the king, laying the foundation for modern democracy. The Magna Carta is historically important for the British legal system as it limited the king's power and laid the groundwork for future legal and democratic developments. Question 24. Explain the role of Britain in the slave trade and its abolition. A. Britain was the first country to abolish the slave trade in 1807. B. Britain played a minor role in the slave trade and focused on its abolition. C. Britain was a leading slave trading nation before leading the movement to abolish it in 1807. D. The slave trade was never abolished in Britain. Answer. C. Britain was a leading slave trading nation before leading the movement to abolish it in 1807. Britain played a significant role in the transatlantic slave trade before becoming a leader in the abolition movement. Question 25. What was the Beveridge Report and how did it influence British society? A. A military strategy document from World War II. B. A report on the effects of the Black Death. C. A document proposing reforms to address social injustices, leading to the creation of the welfare state. D. A study on the economic impacts of the Industrial Revolution. Answer. C. A document proposing reforms to address social injustices, leading to the creation of the welfare state. The Beveridge Report, published during World War II, outlined a plan for comprehensive social insurance and welfare to combat poverty and led to the establishment of the welfare state in Britain. Question 26. Who was the first British Prime Minister of the 20th century? A. Winston Churchill. B. Robert Gascoigne Cecil. C. Margaret Thatcher. D. Tony Blair. Answer. B. Robert Gascoigne Cecil. Robert Gascoigne Cecil, 3rd Marquess of Salisbury, served as Prime Minister at the start of the 20th century from 1895 to 1902. Question 27. Detail the causes and outcomes of the Peasants' Revolt. A. Caused by the Black Death's aftermath and led to significant economic reforms. B. Sparked by religious discontent and resulted in the establishment of Protestantism. C. Initiated due to heavy taxation and ended with the execution of its leaders without major changes. D. Stemmed from military conscription practices and led to the abolition of serfdom. Answer. C. Initiated due to heavy taxation and ended with the execution of its leaders without major changes. The Peasants' Revolt of 1381 was primarily caused by social and economic pressures such as heavy taxation, and although it was suppressed, it highlighted the growing unrest among the lower classes. Question 28. What event is commemorated by the Guy Fawkes Night, and what year did it occur? A. The execution of Charles I in 1649, B. The restoration of the monarchy in 1660. C. The gunpowder plot of 1605. T. The Battle of Britain in 1940. Answer. C. 
The gunpowder plot of 1605. Guy Fawkes Knight commemorates the gunpowder plot, an attempt to blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. Question 29. Which British monarch signed the Bill of Rights in 1689? A. King Charles II. B. Queen Anne. C. King James II. D. William III and Mary II. Answer. D. William I.E. and Mary II. The Bill of Rights was signed by William I.E. and Mary II, establishing the constitutional monarchy and setting out the rights of Parliament and limits on the monarch's power. Question 30. Explain the historical context and consequences of the Acts of Union 1707. A. They unified England and Wales legally. B. They resulted in the independence of Scotland. C. They merged the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Scotland into the Kingdom of Great Britain. D. They separated Ireland from Great Britain. Answer. C. They merged the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Scotland into the Kingdom of Great Britain. The Acts of Union 1707 were significant for merging England and Scotland into a single sovereign state, the Kingdom of Great Britain, impacting the political landscape of the British Isles. Question 31. What is the significance of the Battle of Britain in 1940? A. It marked the beginning of the British Empire. B. It was a turning point in World War I. C. It was a crucial victory in the defence of Britain against Nazi Germany. D. It led to the Treaty of Versailles. Answer. C. It was a crucial victory in the defence of Britain against Nazi Germany. The Battle of Britain in 1940 is significant as it marked a crucial victory for the Royal Air Force in defending Britain against Nazi Germany's air attacks during World War II. Question 32. Who were the suffragettes and what was their primary goal? A. Women who fought for equal rights in the workplace. B. Women who campaigned for the right to vote in public elections. C. A political party focused on education reform. D. Activists advocating for Britain's independence. Answer. B. Women who campaigned for the right to vote in public elections. The suffragettes were activists in the early 20th century who campaigned vigorously for women's suffrage, the right to vote in public elections. Question 33. Name the principle behind the establishment of the National Health Service, NHS, in 1948. A. To provide education for all children. B to ensure military veterans received health care. C. To offer universal health care free at the point of use. D. To privatise health care services. Answer. C to offer universal health care free at the point of use. The National Health Service, NHS, was established in 1948 with the principle of providing universal health care that was free at the point of use for all citizens. Question 34. When did the English Civil War take place and who were the opposing forces? 
A. 1066. Normans and Anglo-Saxons. B. 1215. The Monarchy and Nobility. C. 1642-1651. The Royalists and the Parliamentarians. D. 1775-1783. Britain and the American Colonies. Answer. C. 1642-1651. The Royalists and the Parliamentarians. The English Civil War took place from 1642-1651 between the Royalists, supporters of King Charles I, and the Parliamentarians who sought greater parliamentary authority. Question 35. What major global event did Winston Churchill play a significant role in? A. The French Revolution. B. World War I. C. World War II. D. The Cold War. Answer C. World War II. Winston Churchill played a significant role in World War II as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, leading the country through one of its darkest and finest hours. Question 36. What was the purpose and outcome of the Glorious Revolution? A. To restore Catholicism as the state religion. Unsuccessful. B. To confirm the independence of the American colonies. It led to the Revolutionary War. C to establish parliamentary sovereignty over the monarchy, it was successful. D. To abolish the monarchy, it led to a republic. Answer. C. To establish parliamentary sovereignty over the monarchy, it was successful. The Glorious Revolution of 1688 aimed to establish parliamentary sovereignty over the monarchy, resulting in the constitutional monarchy that exists today. Question 37. Detail the impact of the Industrial Revolution on British society. A. It led to the decline of the British Empire. B. It caused a significant rural to urban migration and transformed the economy. C. It resulted in the immediate improvement of living standards for all. D. It decreased Britain's global influence. Answer. B. It caused a significant rural to urban migration and transformed the economy. The Industrial Revolution had a profound impact on British society, leading to major urbanization, changes in employment, and the transformation of the British economy from agricultural to industrial. Question 38. Who was Oliver Cromwell, and what was his role in British history? A. A king known for his lavish lifestyle. B a military leader who became Lord Protector of the Commonwealth. C. The architect of the British Empire. D. A prime minister during the Victorian era. Answer. B a military leader who became Lord Protector of the Commonwealth. Oliver Cromwell played a pivotal role in British history as a military leader during the English Civil War, eventually becoming the Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland and Ireland. Question 39. Explain the significance of the Highland Clearances. A. They were a series of government acts to clear the Highlands for agriculture. 
B. They were battles fought between clans in the Scottish Highlands. C. They involved the forced eviction of inhabitants of the Highlands to make way for sheep farming. D. They were a series of laws that granted independence to Scotland. Answer. C. They involved the forced eviction of inhabitants of the highlands to make way for sheep farming. The highland clearances are significant for the forced evictions that took place in the Scottish highlands during the 18th and 19th centuries, dramatically altering the cultural and social landscape of Scotland. Question 40. What year was the Battle of Hastings, and why is it a pivotal event in British history? A. 871. It marked the beginning of Viking rule in England. B. 1066. It resulted in Norman conquest and significant cultural transformation. C. 1215. It was the year the Magna Carta was signed. D. 1415. It was a major victory in the Hundred Years' War. Answer. B. 1066. It resulted in Norman conquest and significant cultural transformation. The Battle of Hastings in 1066 is a pivotal event in British history because it led to the Norman conquest of England, which had profound effects on the English language, culture, and governance. Question 41. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the UK, and in what year did she take office? A. Elizabeth I in 1558 B. Margaret Thatcher in 1979 C. Theresa May in 2016 D. Indira Gandhi in 1966 Answer. B. Margaret Thatcher in 1979. Margaret Thatcher became the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom in 1979, serving until 1990. Question 42. What was the primary aim of the Chartists? A. To abolish the monarchy. B. To gain independence for Scotland. C. To secure universal suffrage for men. D. To reform the education system. Answer. C. To secure universal suffrage for men. The primary aim of the Chartists, a working-class movement in the 19th century, was to secure universal suffrage for men, part of a broader campaign for democratic reforms. Question 43. Detailed the historical significance of the Battle of Culloden in 1746. A. It was the last battle fought on British soil, ending the Jacobite Rising. B. It marked the beginning of the British Empire. C. It was a decisive victory in the English Civil War. D. It led to the union between England and Scotland. Answer. A. It was the last battle fought on British soil, ending the Jacobite Rising. The Battle of Culloden in 1746 is historically significant as the last pitched battle fought on British soil, ending the Jacobite attempt to restore the Stuart monarchy to the British thrones. Question 44. When was the Welsh language officially recognised by the British government? A. 1536 B. 1967 C. 1993 D. 
2000. Answer. B. 1967. The Welsh Language Act of 1967 was the first to officially recognise the Welsh language, allowing its use in legal proceedings and government administration in Wales. Question 45. What led to the formation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland in 1801? A. The Acts of Union 1707. B. The defeat of the Spanish Armada. C. The Acts of Union 1800. D. The Magna Carta. Answer. C. The Acts of Union 1800. The Acts of Union 1800 led to the formation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland in 1801 by uniting the Kingdom of Great Britain with the Kingdom of Ireland. Question 46. Name the British monarch who was executed during the Civil War and in what year? A. Charles I in 1649. B. James II in 1688. C. Henry VIII in 1547. D. Edward VI in 1553. Answer. A. Charles I in 1649. King Charles I was executed in 1649, a pivotal moment in the English Civil War that temporarily abolished the monarchy and established the Commonwealth. Question 47. What is the Bayeux Tapestry and why is it significant to British history? A. A medieval manuscript that chronicles the Norman Conquest. B. A Victorian era painting depicting the Battle of Hastings. C. An embroidery that recounts the events leading up to the Norman conquest of England in 1066. D. A sculpture series commemorating the rulers of England. Answer. C an embroidery that recounts the events leading up to the Norman conquest of England in 1066. The Bayex tapestry is significant for its detailed depiction of the events leading to the Norman conquest, providing valuable historical insights into this period. Question 48. Explain the role of Britain in the Treaty of Versailles following World War I. A. Britain was excluded from the negotiations. B. Britain played a leading role in setting the terms for Germany's surrender. C. Britain advocated for lenient terms for Germany. D. Britain focused solely on securing reparations. Answer. B. Britain played a leading role in setting the terms for Germany's surrender. Britain, along with France and the United States, played a leading role in the Treaty of Versailles negotiations, setting the terms that ended World War I and imposed penalties on Germany. Question 49. Who was Bodica, and what was her significance in British history? A. A Roman Empress who governed Britain. B. A Viking leader who raided English monasteries. C. The queen of the Asini tribe who led an uprising against Roman rule. D. The first female prime minister of the United Kingdom. Answer. 
Answer. C. The queen of the Essene tribe who led an uprising against Roman rule. Boudicca is significant in British history as a symbol of resistance against Roman occupation, leading a revolt that temporarily pushed back Roman forces. Question 50. What reforms did the Factory Acts bring about during the Industrial Revolution? A. They abolished the use of child labor in factories. B. They reduced working hours and improved conditions for workers. C. They increased taxes on factory owners. D. They prohibited the establishment of new factories. Answer. B. They reduced working hours and improved conditions for workers. The Factory Acts were a series of laws passed during the Industrial Revolution to reduce working hours, improve conditions for workers, and later to regulate the employment of children and women in factories. Question 51. What was the significance of the Battle of Trafalgar, and who was the leading British figure in this battle? A. It was a defeat that led to Britain's loss of its colonies, General Cornwallis. B. It was a naval engagement that ensured British control of the seas, Admiral Nelson. C. It marked the beginning of the English Civil War, Oliver Cromwell. D. It was a pivotal moment in the Battle of Britain, Winston Churchill. Answer. B. It was a naval engagement that ensured British control of the seas. Admiral Nelson. The Battle of Trafalgar in 1805 is significant for being a decisive naval victory over the combined fleets of France and Spain, led by Admiral Horatio Nelson, ensuring British dominance of the seas. Question 52. Describe the events and outcomes of the Jacobite rebellions. A a series of campaigns for independence from Rome. b. Efforts to restore the Stuart monarchy to the British throne, ultimately unsuccessful. c. Protests against the Act of Union with Scotland, leading to its repeal. d. Movements to abolish the monarchy and establish a republic. Answer. B. Efforts to restore the Stuart monarchy to the British throne, ultimately unsuccessful. The Jacobite rebellions were attempts by supporters of the exiled Stuart kings to restore them to the throne of Britain, ultimately failing and ending with significant battles like Culloden in 1746. Question 53. What is the significance of the Statute of Pudlam in 1284? A. It granted Wales independence from England. B. It established English rule over Wales. C. It was the first document to establish Parliament's power over the monarchy. D. It marked the end of the Viking Age in Britain. Answer. B. It established English rule over Wales. The Statute of Rublin in 1284 was significant for integrating the legal administration of Wales into the English crown following Edward as conquest of Wales. Question 54. When did the Great Depression occur in the UK and what were its effects? A. 1918 to 1920 led to widespread unemployment and social unrest. B. 1929 to 1939 resulted in economic hardship and increased support for social reforms. C. 1945 to 1955 delayed Britain's recovery after World War II. P. 1973 to 1985 
led to the introduction of austerity measures. Answer B. 1929-1939 resulted in economic hardship and increased support for social reforms. The Great Depression in the UK, as part of the global economic downturn, resulted in significant economic hardship, high unemployment, and contributed to the push for social welfare reforms. Question 55. Who discovered penicillin, and how did it impact healthcare? A. Marie Curie. It revolutionized cancer treatment. B. Alexander Fleming. It marked the beginning of modern antibiotics, significantly reducing deaths from bacterial infections. C. Charles Darwin. It changed the approach to genetic diseases. D. Isaac Newton. It led to advancements in surgical techniques. Answer. B. Alexander Fleming. It marked the beginning of modern antibiotics, significantly reducing deaths from bacterial infections. Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin in 1928 revolutionized healthcare by introducing the first true antibiotic, which has saved countless lives by effectively treating bacterial infections. Question 56. Detail the origins and impact of the Irish famine in the 19th century. A. Caused by a wheat blight, led to widespread poverty in England. B. Resulted from trade restrictions, significantly impacted Ireland's economy. C. Caused by a potato blight, led to mass starvation and emigration in Ireland. D. Resulted from overpopulation led to the establishment of the welfare state. Answer. C. Caused by a potato blight, led to mass starvation and emigration in Ireland. The Irish famine, also known as the Great Famine, occurred in the mid-19th century and was caused by a potato blight. It had a devastating impact on Ireland, causing mass starvation, disease and emigration. Question 57. What were the main causes of the English Reformation in the 16th century? A. Economic disputes between the monarchy and the nobility. B. Political maneuvering by Henry VIII to secure a male heir. C. Invasion threats from France and Spain. D. The influence of the Renaissance and humanism. Answer. B. Political maneuvering by Henry VIII to secure a male heir. The English Reformation was primarily caused by King Henry VIII's desire to annul his marriage to Catherine of Aragon in order to marry Anne Boleyn and secure a male heir, leading to England's break with the Roman Catholic Church. Question 58. Describe the significance of the War Act on the American colonies. A. It encouraged war production in the colonies. B. It prohibited the export of war from the colonies, stifling their economy. C. It led to the establishment of the first colonial parliament. D. It offered tax incentives for war production. Answer. B. It prohibited the export of wool from the colonies, stifling their economy. The Wool Act passed by the British Parliament in 1699 was significant for the American colonies as it restricted their wool industry by prohibiting the export of wool products, contributing to economic grievances that fueled colonial dissent. Question 59. What was the main purpose of the Enclosure Acts 
and how did they affect rural communities? A. To promote urbanization led to the growth of cities. B. To increase agricultural efficiency resulted in the displacement of peasant farmers. C. To decrease the influence of the aristocracy, democratized land ownership. D. To establish national parks, conserved natural landscapes, Answer B. To increase agricultural efficiency resulted in the displacement of peasant farmers. The Enclosure Acts, passed from the 18th to the 19th centuries, were intended to increase agricultural efficiency by consolidating common lands into individual ownership. But they also resulted in significant social of Hevel by displacing peasant farmers and contributing to urban migration. Question 60. Who was responsible for the creation of the Commonwealth, and what was its initial purpose? A. Queen Victoria, to establish a global trade network. B. Winston Churchill, to maintain British influence after decolonization. C. Elizabeth I, to compete with the Spanish Empire. D. George VI, to foster cooperation and shared values among former British colonies. Answer D. George VI, to foster cooperation and shared values among former British colonies. The modern Commonwealth was created in the mid 20th century during the reign of George VI, with the initial purpose of fostering cooperation, shared values, and mutual assistance among nations that were formerly part of the British Empire, especially as many gained independence. Question 61. Who discovered penicillin and how did it impact health care? A. Marie Curie, it advanced radiology treatments. B. Alexander Fleming, it led to the development of antibiotics. C. Charles Darwin, it revolutionized the understanding of diseases. D. Isaac Newton, it introduced new principles in health care. Answer. B. Alexander Fleming. It led to the development of antibiotics. Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin in 1928 marked a significant breakthrough in medical science, leading to the development of antibiotics and revolutionizing the treatment of bacterial infections. Question 62. Detail the origins and impact of the Irish famine in the 19th century. A caused by a trade embargo with France, led to widespread poverty. B. Resulted from industrial pollution, increased urban migration. C. Stemmed from potato blight, led to mass starvation and emigration. D. Originated from agricultural reforms, resulted in political unrest. Answer. C. Stemmed from potato blight, led to mass starvation and emigration. The Irish famine, or the Great Famine, of the mid-19th century was caused by potato blight and had devastating effects, including mass starvation, disease and emigration. Question 63. What were the main causes of the English Reformation in the 16th century? A. The Black Death's societal impact. B. Economic disputes between England and France. C. King Henry Villiers' marital issues and disputes with the Pope. D. The invasion of the Spanish Armada.
Answer. C. King Henry VIII's marital issues and disputes with the Pope. The English Reformation was primarily driven by King Henry VIII's desire to annul his marriage to Catherine of Aragon and his subsequent disputes with the Pope, leading to the break with the Catholic Church and the establishment of the Church of England. Question 64. Describe the significance of the War Act on the American colonies. A. It encouraged war production in the colonies. B. It banned the export of war from the colonies to anywhere but England. C. It granted the colonies exclusive rights to supply war to Europe. D. It led to the immediate independence of the American colonies. Answer. B. It banned the export of wool from the colonies to anywhere but England. The Wool Act of 1699 was significant as it restricted the American colonies from exporting wool to markets other than England, reflecting the mercantilist policies of the time and contributing to colonial discontent. Question 65. What was the main purpose of the Enclosure Acts and how did they affect rural communities? A. To protect common lands. They preserved traditional farming methods. B. To redistribute land equally among peasants. They improved living standards. C. To consolidate small land holdings into larger farms. They led to displacement and urban migration. D. To introduce modern agricultural technology. They decreased unemployment. Answer. C. To consolidate small land holdings into larger farms, they led to displacement and urban migration. The Enclosure Acts allowed for the consolidation of common lands into private ownership for more efficient farming, which adversely affected rural communities by displacing peasant farmers and contributing to urban migration. Question 66. Who was responsible for the creation of the Commonwealth? And what was its initial purpose? A. Winston Churchill, to maintain British imperial dominance. B. Queen Elizabeth II, to establish a global peacekeeping organization. C. King George VI, to foster mutual cooperation and democracy among former British colonies. D. Oliver Cromwell, to promote trade between England and its colonies. Answer. C. King George VI, to foster mutual cooperation and democracy among former British colonies. The modern Commonwealth was created to foster mutual cooperation, democracy, and development among its member states, most of which were former territories of the British Empire. Question 67. Detail the significance of the Battle of Britain's outcome for the UK during World War II. A. It led to the immediate end of the war. B. It prevented a German invasion and boosted British morale. C. It resulted in Britain forming an alliance with the Soviet Union. D. It marked the beginning of British territorial expansion. Answer. B. It prevented a German invasion and boosted British morale. The significance of the Battle of Britain lies in its outcome, which prevented a German invasion of the UK 
and marked a turning point in World War II, significantly boosting British morale. Question 68. Explain the significance of the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. A. It documented the Viking invasions and is considered the first historical record of England. B. It served as the legal code for Anglo-Saxon England. C. It was a poem collection from the Anglo-Saxon period. D. It outlined the rules for monastic life in medieval England. Answer. A. It documented the Viking invasions and is considered the first historical record of England. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle is significant as it provides a continuous historical record of the early English state, including the Viking invasions, and is considered one of the most important sources for the history of England in the Anglo-Saxon period. Question 69. Explain the historical context and importance of the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. A. A record of Viking invasions compiled by Norman historians. B. A narrative of England's history from Roman times to the Norman Conquest, commissioned by King Alfred the Great. C. A Victorian-era invention to promote English nationalism. D. An account of the Crusades from an English perspective. Answer. B. A narrative of England's history from Roman times to the Norman Conquest, commissioned by King Alfred the Great. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle is important as it provides a continuous record of early English history, offering insights into the Anglo-Saxon period. Question 70. What role did the UK play in the establishment of the State of Israel? A. It led the military campaign to establish Israel. B. The Balfour Declaration issued by Britain supported the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. C. It opposed the United Nations Partition Plan. D. It was the first country to recognize Israel as an independent state. Answer. B. The Balfour Declaration issued by Britain supported the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. The Balfour Declaration of 1917 was significant for Britain's role in the early support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Question 71. Detail the significance and outcome of the Battle of Waterloo for Britain. A. It marked the end of British colonial expansion. B. It resulted in the loss of the American colonies. C. It was a decisive victory that ended Napoleon's rule and secured British influence in Europe. D. It led to the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. It was a decisive victory that ended Napoleon's rule and secured British influence in Europe. The Battle of Waterloo in 1815 is significant for Britain as it marked a decisive victory against Napoleon Bonaparte, ending his rule and securing Britain's influence in Europe. Question 72. Describe the causes and outcomes of the Falklands War. 
A. A conflict over oil reserves resulting in increased military presence in the Falklands. B. A territorial dispute with France leading to a treaty. C. A dispute over fishing rights resolved by the United Nations. D. A conflict with Argentina over sovereignty resulting in the British reassertion of control over the islands. Answer. D. A conflict with Argentina over sovereignty, resulting in the British reassertion of control over the islands. The Falklands War in 1982 was caused by Argentina's invasion of the Falkland Islands, a British overseas territory. The outcome was a British military victory that reaffirmed sovereignty over the islands. Question 73. What is the historical significance of the Council of Nicaea to Britain? A. It marked the beginning of Roman Christianity in Britain. B. It established the Church of England. C. It has no direct significance to Britain. D. It was a turning point in British ecclesiastical history. Answer. C. It has no direct significance to Britain. The Council of Nicaea, held in 325 AD, was a pivotal moment in early Christian history, establishing foundational doctrines, but it does not have direct significance to Britain's own religious or historical development. Question 74. Who was the first Briton to orbit the Earth, and in what year? A. Michael Collins in 1969. B. Tim Peake in 2015. C. Helen Sharman in 1991. D. Richard Branson in 2021. Answer. C. Helen Sharman in 1991. Helen Sharman became the first Briton to orbit the Earth in 1991 when she participated in the Soviet space mission to the Mir space station. Question 75. Detail the impact of the Roman withdrawal from Britain in the 5th century. A. It led to the immediate unification of Britain under a single king. B. It resulted in economic prosperity and expansion of trade networks. C. It caused political fragmentation and the invasion of Anglo-Saxons. D. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. Answer. C. It caused political fragmentation and the invasion of Anglo-Saxons. The withdrawal of Roman forces from Britain in the 5th century led to political fragmentation and vulnerability, paving the way for the Anglo-Saxon invasions and the shaping of early medieval Britain. Question 76. What led to the signing of the Good Friday Agreement, and in what year was it signed? A. The end of the Viking invasions in 1014. B. Negotiations to end the Troubles in Northern Ireland signed in 1998. C. The resolution of the War of the Roses in 1485. D. Britain's decision to join the European Union in 1973. Answer. B. Negotiations to end the Troubles in Northern Ireland, signed in 1998. The Good Friday Agreement was signed in 1998 as a result of negotiations to bring an end to the decades-long conflict known as the Troubles in Northern Ireland, 
leading to a major political development in the region. Question 77. Explain the role of the British royal family during World War II. A. They negotiated peace treaties with Axis powers. B. They remained largely ceremonial without any direct involvement. C. They were evacuated to Canada for safety. D. They played a symbolic role in boosting public morale and supported the war effort. Answer D. They played a symbolic role in boosting public morale and supported the war effort. During World War II, members of the British royal family, particularly King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, played significant roles in boosting public morale through their appearances, speeches, and visits to troops and bombed areas. Question 78. What was the purpose of the Elizabethan Poor Law of 1601? And how did it affect society? A. To establish a national health service. B. To create a system of support for the poor, which laid the foundations for later social welfare systems. C. To banish the poor from cities. D. To increase taxes on the wealthy. Answer B. To create a system of support for the poor, which laid the foundations for later social welfare systems, the Elizabethan Poor Law of 1601 established a system for the relief of the poor, which is considered one of the world's first government-sponsored welfare programs, affecting how society cared for its most vulnerable. Question 79. Detail the significance and outcome of the Battle of Waterloo for Britain. A. It resulted in a British defeat that led to Napoleon's brief return to power. B. It was a decisive victory that ended Napoleon's rule and secured British influence in Europe. C. It marked the start of British colonial expansion in Africa. D. It led to the establishment of the United Kingdom. Answer. B. It was a decisive victory that ended Napoleon's rule and secured British influence in Europe. The Battle of Waterloo in 1815 is significant for being a decisive victory against Napoleon Bonaparte, ending his rule and securing Britain's influence in Europe. Question 80. Describe the process and significance of the decolonization of Africa post-World War II. A. It was primarily a peaceful transition led by the United Nations. B. It occurred due to economic pressures in Britain and nationalist movements in Africa, leading to the independence of African countries. C. Britain voluntarily relinquished control to promote economic development. D. It was a rapid process completed within a year of the end of World War II. Answer. B. It occurred due to economic pressures in Britain and nationalist movements in Africa, leading to the independence of African countries. The decolonization of Africa post-World War II was significant for the wave of independence movements across the continent, driven by both economic pressures in Britain and strong nationalist movements within the African territories. Question 81. What were the main outcomes of the Glorious Revolution in 1688 for the British monarchy? A. It established the principle of absolute monarchy. B. It led to the establishment of parliamentary sovereignty and a constitutional monarchy. C. It resulted in the expulsion of the monarchy from Britain. D. 
it initiated the War of the Roses. Answer. B. It led to the establishment of parliamentary sovereignty and a constitutional monarchy. The glorious revolution of 1688 was significant for establishing parliamentary sovereignty over the monarchy, leading to the development of a constitutional monarchy in Britain. Question 82. Detail the British contributions to the development of computer science during and after World War II. A. The invention of the steam engine, which powered early computers. B. The development of the Colossus and the work of Alan Turing at Bletchley Park, which laid foundations for modern computing. C. Britain's role in the development of the Internet in the 1960s. D. The establishment of the first computer science degree at Cambridge University in the 1950s. Answer. B. The development of the Colossus and the work of Alan Turing at Bletchley Park, which laid foundations for modern computing. British contributions, especially during World War II with the development of the Colossus computer and Alan Turing's work, were pivotal in laying the groundwork for the modern field of computer science. Question 83. What was the impact of the British Nationality Act 1948 on immigration to the UK. A. It restricted immigration from former colonies and Commonwealth countries. B. It had no significant impact on immigration patterns. C. It allowed citizens of the Commonwealth and the UK colonies to settle in the UK, leading to increased immigration. D. It completely halted immigration to the UK. Answer. C. It allowed citizens of the Commonwealth and the UK colonies to settle in the UK, leading to increased immigration. The British Nationality Act 1948 was significant for granting citizens of Commonwealth countries and British colonies the right to live and work in the UK, which significantly increased immigration. Question 84. Explain the significance of the Battle of Agincourt in English history. A. It marked the beginning of English rule in France. B. It was a devastating defeat that ended English claims to the French throne. C. It was a significant victory in the Hundred Years' War, showcasing the effectiveness of the English Longbow. D. It led directly to the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. It was a significant victory in the Hundred Years' War, showcasing the effectiveness of the English Longbow. The Battle of Agincourt in 1415 is celebrated in English history for the remarkable victory achieved by Henry V's outnumbered forces, largely attributed to the effectiveness of the English Longbow. Question 85. Detail the origins and implications of the English Bill of Rights in 1689. A. It confirmed the divine right of kings. B. It established the rights of Parliament and limits on the monarch's power, laying the foundation for modern democracy in England. C. It granted independence to American colonies. D. It abolished the monarchy and established a republic. Answer. B. It established the rights of Parliament and limits on the monarch's power, laying the foundation for modern democracy in England. 
The English Bill of Rights in 1689 was a pivotal document that established the framework for constitutional monarchy, limiting the powers of the monarch and setting out the rights of parliament. Question 86. What role did Britain play in the Antarctic Treaty System? A. Britain was the first country to sign and ratify the treaty, establishing it as international law. B. It was primarily responsible for enforcing military restrictions in Antarctica. C. It led expeditions to colonize Antarctica before the treaty was signed. T. Britain is one of the original signatories contributing to the treaty's aim of ensuring Antarctica is used for peaceful purposes only. Answer. D. Britain is one of the original signatories contributing to the treaty's aim of ensuring Antarctica is used for peaceful purposes only. The Antarctic Treaty System, established in 1959, is significant for its role in ensuring that Antarctica is used exclusively for peaceful purposes and scientific research, with Britain being one of the original signatory nations. Question 87. Describe the process and significance of the decolonization of Africa post-World War II. A. It was primarily a peaceful transition led by the United Nations. B. It occurred due to economic pressures in Britain and nationalist movements in Africa, leading to the independence of African countries. C. Britain voluntarily relinquished control to promote economic development. D. It was a rapid process completed within a year of the end of World War II. Answer. B. It occurred due to economic pressures in Britain and nationalist movements in Africa, leading to the independence of African countries. The decolonization of Africa post-World War II was significant for the wave of independence movements across the continent, driven by both economic pressures in Britain and strong nationalist movements within the African territories. Question 88. Who was Guy Fawkes and what was the gunpowder plot? A. A British soldier who fought in the American Revolution. B. A member of Parliament who advocated for the abolition of the monarchy. C. A conspirator in a failed plot to assassinate King James I and blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. D. The architect of the English Bill of Rights. Answer. C. A conspirator in a failed plot to assassinate King James I and blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. Guy Fawkes is most famously associated with the gunpowder plot, an attempt to disrupt the Protestant government by blowing up the Houses of Parliament during the state opening. Question 89. What was the primary cause of the Peasants' Revolt in 1381? A the imposition of the poll tax, b. the spread of the Black Death, c. the loss of English territories in France, d. a royal decree banning traditional village festivals. Answer. Hey, the imposition of the poll tax, the Peasants' Revolt in 1381 was primarily incited by the imposition of a poll tax, which was seen as an unfair burden on the poorer segments of society, leading to widespread unrest. Question 90. Detail the significance and outcome of the Battle of Waterloo for Britain. A. It resulted in a British defeat that led to Napoleon's brief return to power. B. 
It was a decisive victory that ended Napoleon's rule and secured British influence in Europe. C. It marked the start of British colonial expansion in Africa. D. It led to the establishment of the United Kingdom. Answer. B. It was a decisive victory that ended Napoleon's rule and secured British influence in Europe. The Battle of Waterloo in 1815 is significant for being a decisive victory against Napoleon Bonaparte, ending his rule and securing Britain's influence in Europe. Question 91. What was the main focus of the Social Reform Act of 1834? and how did it change British society? A. To abolish the monarchy and establish a republic. B. To reform child labour laws and improve working conditions in factories. C. To overhaul the poor law system, introducing workhouses. D. To grant voting rights to all men, regardless of property ownership. Answer. C. To overhaul the poor law system, introducing workhouses, the Social Reform Act of 1834, or the Poor Law Amendment Act, significantly changed British society by overhauling the poor law system, notably introducing the workhouse system as a means of providing for the poor, which was both controversial and influential in shaping social policy. Question 92. Explain the significance of the Gin Acts in the 18th century. A. They liberalized the production and sale of gin, leading to increased consumption. B. They were a series of laws aimed at curbing the consumption of gin due to social and health concerns. C. They established the first government-run gin distilleries. D. They prohibited the consumption of gin, leading to the gin prohibition era. Answer. B. They were a series of laws aimed at curbing the consumption of gin due to social and health concerns. The Gin Acts were significant for attempting to control the widespread consumption of gin in the 18th century, which was seen as a cause of social decay and health problems among the population. Question 93. Who was Guy Fawkes? And what was the gunpowder plot? A a British king who survived an assassination attempt. B. A scientist who discovered gunpowder. C. A member of a group that attempted to blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. D. A general in the English Civil War. Answer C. A member of a group that attempted to blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. Guy Fawkes is most famously associated with the gunpowder plot, an attempted assassination of King James I and members of Parliament by blowing up the Houses of Parliament. Question 94. What role did Britain play in the Antarctic Treaty system? A. It was the primary opponent of the treaty. B. It hosted the initial negotiations and signing of the treaty. C. It is one of the original signatory states, playing a key role in the treaty's development. D. It has no territorial claims in Antarctica and therefore did not participate. Answer. C. It is one of the original signatory states, playing a key role in the treaty's development. Britain played a significant role in the Antarctic treaty system, 
being one of the original signatory states and contributing to the treaty's development, WIC. Question 95. Describe the process and significance of the decolonization of Africa post-World War II. A. It was primarily a peaceful transition led by the United Nations. B. It occurred due to economic pressures in Britain and nationalist movements in Africa, leading to the independence of African countries. C. Britain voluntarily relinquished control to promote economic development. D. It was a rapid process completed within a year of the end of World War II. Answer. B. It occurred due to economic pressures in Britain and nationalist movements in Africa, leading to the independence of African countries. The decolonization of Africa post-World War II was significant for the wave of independence movements across the continent, driven by both economic pressures in Britain and strong nationalist movements within the African territories. Question 96. What were the main outcomes of the Glorious Revolution in 1688 for the British monarchy? A. It established the principle of absolute monarchy. B. It led to the establishment of parliamentary sovereignty and a constitutional monarchy. C. It resulted in the expulsion of the monarchy from Britain. D. It initiated the War of the Roses. Answer. B. It led to the establishment of parliamentary sovereignty and a constitutional monarchy. The Glorious Revolution of 1688 was significant for establishing parliamentary sovereignty over the monarchy, leading to the development of a constitutional monarchy in Britain. Question 97. Detail the British contributions to the development of computer science during and after World War II. A. The invention of the steam engine, which powered early computers. B. The development of the Colossus and the work of Alan Turing at Bletchley Park, which laid foundations for modern computing. C. Britain's role in the development of the Internet in the 1960s. D. The establishment of the first computer science degree at Cambridge University in the 1950s. Answer. B. The development of the Colossus and the work of Alan Turing at Bletchley Park, which laid foundations for modern computing. British contributions, especially during World War II, with the development of the Colossus computer and Alan Turing's work, were pivotal in laying the groundwork for the modern field of computer science. Question 98. What was the impact of the British Nationality Act 1948 on immigration to the UK? A. It restricted immigration from former colonies and Commonwealth countries. B. It had no significant impact on immigration patterns. C. It allowed citizens of the Commonwealth and the UK colonies to settle in the UK, leading to increased immigration. D. It completely halted immigration to the UK. Answer. C. It allowed citizens of the Commonwealth and the UK colonies to settle in the UK, leading to increased immigration. The British Nationality Act 1948 was a landmark law that significantly changed British immigration by allowing Commonwealth citizens the right to live and work in the UK, thus increasing immigration. Question 99. Explain the significance of the Battle of Aging Court in English history. A. It marked the beginning of the English Renaissance. B. 
it was a decisive victory in the Wars of the Roses. See, it was a major English victory in the Hundred Years' War against France. T. It led to the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. It was a major English victory in the Hundred Years' War against France. The Battle of Agincourt in 1415 is significant in English history for being a major victory against a numerically superior French army, symbolizing English martial prowess and contributing to national identity. Question 100. Detail the origins and implications of the English Bill of Rights in 1689. A. It was a response to the tyranny of Oliver Cromwell, establishing the first constitutional monarchy. B. It formalized the rights of citizens and limited the powers of the monarchy following the Glorious Revolution. C. It was created after the English Civil War to prevent future conflicts between Parliament and the monarchy. D. It was enacted following the American Revolution to address the grievances of the colonists. Answer. B. It formalized the rights of citizens and limited the powers of the monarchy following the Glorious Revolution. The English Bill of Rights in 1689 is significant for its role in shaping the constitutional monarchy in Britain, establishing a balance of power between the monarchy and parliament, and formalizing the rights of citizens.